Well, g'day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Del. Da, da, da. I am very excited and very happy today. I have for you a post review from FG Normal. This diamond painting I am going to show you in just a moment. Um, it's on the channel as an unboxing just recently and I thought this is absolutely perfect for this time of year to do. And I was very excited to do this piece because I absolutely love the image. So we're going to talk through it, pros, cons, anything like that. And I'm going to sh firstly show you and the image. here she is. Ta-da. Merry Christmas. Yes. This is um, a beautiful 30 by 40 um, canvas, image size smaller, image of Merry Christmas reef with the bells and the bow and all that trimmings. Beautiful, beautiful um, diamond painting. And we're going to just tilt just a little bit just to get it all in shot. So this diamond painting has 22 colors in it, um, a lot of confetti work. And I wanted to really get stuck into it because of the time of year. Obviously, Christmas is literally around the corner, people. I'm being so busy and this has taken me way too long to get finished. Um, but it has been a f really uh, good project to work on. I haven't had really any issues, to be honest with you. Uh, no issues like with drills. Glue's been really good, really. I mean, a little bit... Luckily, it's been uh, unforgiving in some senses where I have put the drills in the wrong spot a little bit. So you've got a little bit of wriggle room, but it's not sliding everywhere. So let's talk glue. It's good. Okay, that's I've got a good coverage. Um, it's, you know, it's had a good stick. As I said, it did allow me to move if I needed to. So I can adjust the drills, but it's not sliding around. So that's perfectly fine. The image itself... I think has come across quite well. I really love that bow. Mm, yes. And those bells I think have come up gorgeous. I'll get closer to look at those. The wording Merry Christmas was my highest concern of course with this image and being a gold leaf type look it has come out as expected I suppose to a degree. I am going to fidget with it. I decide I am going to muck around with it and maybe add a bit more of these darker greens and so forth and see if I can get more of a, it'll be more flat compared to the shiny image, but it's going to be, I think, more readable. The size is not too bad as far as the wording. The descriptive writing is kind of cool. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I will try and add a little bit more of that to show you how I get finished with that one. So I do apologize if you hear any banging in my neighbor across the road is doing some renovations. So I'm just trying to block him out a little bit while I get this done. Okie doke. So let's have a bit more closer look, shall we? I'm just going to bring this on down. Ooh la la. We'll talk a little bit of some of the image, etc. But you can see this beautiful shine. Oh my goodness, look how sparkly beautiful those drills come across. These drills, I've had really no qualms. I mean, I've had that one, maybe two, literally, where they're a bit chipped or something, but they look really beautiful. I've, I've just been very, very happy with all the drills. So this is the reef area I was discussing um, with the wording, which I'd like to, I think I might just tinker with. I mean, it's come across quite net well, and you can see what it is and being the type of time of year and that you can get it if you know what I mean I don't think it's that far from comprehension um, I would like to have a bit more clear sorry I'm just getting distracted by the beautiful sparkle um, I would like to see it maybe more, you could have changed the tone a little bit to these and I might just fidget with that because I have got plenty of drills left over that is a personal choice thing I think um, someone people might go you know I'm really pleased with how that it looks just as is now and and go with that but oh my goodness there you go look at that beautiful sparkle all right um, so the reef itself around these sections here if you love confetti you're in for a treat because um, yeah it is full of it this was very time intense for me I focused only on this image 
where I would probably do something with confetti like this and then swap back out. So maybe that's why for me it felt a little bit more <laughs> and the time pressure to get it done. But all in all, uh, it does have a beautiful effect. So a lot of confetti in through these sort of side areas. Again with and in the bow, there was quite a bit of color changing there. But I will say this, I am pleased to have done it. I really have because, oh sorry I really have, I really am pleased that I've done it because of how well this bow looks. It looks like it's popping, it's a beautiful feature and it's coming straight forward and just really grasping the eye. It just makes the whole image, up, in my opinion. I do love the bells. I think the tones in the bells, that nice brass that gives it that 3D round, nice shading. I really like these really strong highlights on it. I do think they come up really well. And just the general sparkle and that around in the color changes around that, I think just gives it that, I don't know, just sort of like a, a sense of movement and life to the image. And I really liked how that came across. And this background, even though it was a bit motley, but it was very, very good to do. I really liked it. Actually, I really enjoyed doing all this background area. I was a bit concerned when I first putting the black in up here, how it looked, but I actually think it looks really nice. It's really effective. Some of the canvas areas here, I've got like little white stars in it, so they would get me a little bit like, oh, I missed a drill, but no, I haven't. And the effect comes across really nice, how it just gives it a real, um, the sparkle and shine of the stars and things that are supposed in the, is in the image. I don't know if you can see the thumbnail very well. Sorry, I just had to adjust a few things to get it right, but that is sort of your thumbnail there. I'm trying to hold it still. And you can see the little stars in the sides and on the top kind of thing. And that's what I was, um, it's printed white there between your drills. So oh, sometimes I thought I missed a drill, but I actually hadn't. Um, but it looks really nice when you complete it. That really gives a beautiful sparkle. So absolutely love this idea that came up really well. It sort of looks a bit white behind it, but it looks really like a star sparkle. I oh, don't mind these guys on the side. They're just chilling out. Um, these little guys on the side, I'll take off. I, sometimes when there's a little bit of glue there, I can stick a spare one of each color and I just stick the glue, stick the glue, stick the drill on um, the side there next to the DMC number slash whatever, because I'm running by these symbols and numbers only on my kits. And if I see one I've missed, I can then pick it up and plonk it on. So yeah, just a little muck around thing I do. Here are the words, Merry Christmas, as you can sort of see. It's because it's got that gold film look and that's why it's so pale in the center there. So I'm thinking I might muck around with some of the colors just to sort of bring it a bit stronger. Personal preference, of course. Um, do you think the words come out good in this diamond painting? If you so, do you know, I'd like to hear people's opinions. The pink in the center there is was a bit daunting at first how it might turn out, but I think it came up into the picture quite well. So, yeah. So that is the reef real close up. And here is the bow. and the bells. All right. Really loving this image. Okay. So let's have a look at some of the drills that we had in this kit. Have a bit of a quick look um, and a bit of a kit down, etc. So let's start looking at some of these drills. Um, as I said, I've just kit up my usual basic way, FG normal, Bell 30 by 40. So ignore that. It's this one, Merry Christmas Bell 30 by 40 for FG normal. Beautiful. I love these little packages. They're very, very handy to use over and over again with the simple number system I'm running. It's really cool. Here comes the drill bin. Okay, so first of all, let's have a really quick look at um, 
just what's in the packets left over. So this is literally what I have left over after completing the diamond painting. You have more than ample drills to work with. You never felt like you're going to run short. I'll just pop them down there. Um, yeah, all the colors, not our problem. Really, really happy with that. So I never had that anxiety of running out of drills. And we don't want that. Now I've mixed them all up. Okie dokie. Um, oops, that was open. Good thing I didn't want to keep them in control anymore, isn't it? So <laughs> we'll start here at number one real briefly. And we'll have a look at just some of the drill quality. I may not tip all of them out because I think it does take a long time. But just to sort of give you that shine value, look at that. Really, really happy with these drills. Even this is the black. And just look at it. Beautiful shine. Look, sparkles. So pretty. No, couldn't fault that at all. It's interesting green, olivey green, I suppose. I don't know. Look, look how nice and neat they are. Wow. Just, you just can't fault them. Very, very nice drills from this kit. This is number four. Beautiful again. Five. Lots of that one. Just lovely. I really like the fact you do have a lot of lot of drills left over on one sense because even if you don't keep them. Look at that color. Or if you do reuse them in a different project, it doesn't really matter. It's really nice feeling when your kit is, you know, well stocked. Well stocked kit. This is very pretty. Look at this. Wow. Look how neat they are. Super duper happy. The only thing that drove me a bit mad was the confetti involved in this image, but I think it was a personal problem. <laughs> and um, when I get those heavy, what's that one, number eight? Uh, when I get confetti areas that are heavy like that, I often switch out to another project. But in this case, I was too, I really wanted to focus on this. I didn't want to swap in and out. I want to spend every bit of time I did have on that project to get it done for Christmas. So I think that's where it come from. 13. And I have got it done for Christmas. So I'm really happy about that. Beautiful. Uh, 14. This is the pink. I wasn't sure how that was going to work in with so much red, but I think it's alright. Oh, there's a few little strays in there. Ugh. Struggle bus. 15. Beautiful, creamy, buttery yellow. Very pretty. Um, up to 16. that just great sparkle it really is 16 oops sorry look at that I did it again I thought I'm getting ahead of myself um, we'll go back to nine it doesn't really matter too much sorry I am 
got myself kerfuffled then. So this is number nine. The others are jumping and chain. Ten. Whoa. Oh, this was this um, back colour. Holy moly, that was a lot. There's a lot of that left over. Look at that. There we go. It was just too much in that tray for the lights to figure out what to focus on with the camera. But you can just see how lovely that colour is, was. Tons of that. 11 was. Oh, this was really pretty. This was in the background too, quite a lot. Look at it, it's gorgeous. That's a real beautiful red. Yeah, if you want Christmas red, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Lovely. Uh, 12. Now, jumping up to 17 because I, I messed them up a bit. Oops. So this was that pink, the real pop, little soft pink involved in it. Eighteen. Some more background and color. Nineteen. And this is all the drills from a finished kit. So yeah, it's quite a substantial amount. It's really good. I'm very pleased with that. Twenty uses grey. There wasn't a lot of that think of that in the painting of that one. Twenty one, getting down to it now. And 22. Hmm, really good. All right, into the pot. So that's it. I'm now empty. Start again. And we will be. There's my pot of many colours. In goes the Christmas drills as well now. Yeah, look at them all. Don't they look so cool? So pretty. That's a pretty drill there. <laughs> oh no, no, that was stick to me. <laughs> Why? Why do you do things, Dell? Anyway. I'm getting a decent amount in here too. All right, so that's pretty much the kit down um, and pretty much where I am with this one. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to pop that up on the door. Okay, so I'm back and I have been mucking around with those words like I said I was going to do. So I have it changed it a little bit on the edges of the letters. I've added some more greens and browns. And in the center part, I actually found a nice, brighter, sunflower -y sort of yellow and replaced a lot of those paler yellows with that. So that was basically what I ended up doing and adding a bit more of some of the oranges and so forth in those outside letters and just give it a bit more kick. And I think it's just brought those letters a bit more clearer and the words come across a little bit better. And yeah, but I still have that sort of golden word effect, if you know what I mean. So in general, I'm very happy with this kit, 100%. And I think the alterations I've made to it are complementary to that. And I just were doing like a plain green or something, which I was toying around with the idea. I think this has come across a bit better and more close to original, which I really love the image of so that's where we are now with this so uh, 
if you'd like to leave a comment um, on if you think I should have stayed or with the original or the improvements are great or good or okay <laughs> whatever you think um, kind feedback is always welcome so yeah but that is it as it is I sort of just pop back in here and just show you a little bit of mucking around I've been doing with it um, during the day uh, for those who notice that the rings are gone from the start of the video that is because I took them off to do something else and I kind of forgot to put them back on and then I did all the kit down after I'd used all the beads and I figured I can't take that back so that's it so yeah anyway that's life I'll come down a bit closer and we'll have a bit more look at those words but I am very happy at the moment with it and I'm going to put a little bit of border maybe just a black frame border I think would look quite nice with this and pop it up on the door for everyone when they come for Christmas Day so I'm very just happy I'm just really happy just to have it done for Christmas honestly I'm really wrapped all right um, I think we'll go back to the outro now and that with that all right back to the outro so that being the finish to this finish to start video uh, from FG normal thank you very much I will be a new start will be the dragon notebook that was also unboxed with the, this fellow so yeah my new start will be this gorgeous notebook I have heard some good reports so I'm looking very forward looking very forward I'm looking forward to working on this um, piece quite a bit uh, for a couple of reasons it's a notebook I haven't worked on a notebook before the dragon design special drills lots and lots of reasons to want to get stuck into this so yeah looking forward to working on this kit uh, and I will post uh, a video of its completion in the early new year hopefully fingers crossed and I'll keep you up to date but yeah so this one and the beautiful Merry Christmas a uh, couple of diamond paintings here so these wonderful products are from FG normal and they were gifted to me for free to review on the channel to show you guys what it looks like um, and get some more details about it so I hope you enjoyed looking through the finished piece of the Christmas one and I'll let you know how the notebook goes as well unfortunately I think I've come to a part of a video where I have to conclude and say thank you very much for watching this is Dale signing out be your life beautiful with diamond art and thank you FG normal for um, sending these wonderful products to me and anyone that's new to the channel thank you very much for watching and all subscribers also thank you as well and if you enjoyed this video um, I really appreciate a like just to know I'm on the right track for these finish the starts and I'll be posting some more new videos shortly so yeah stay tuned for those and that's about it for now guys thank you very much for watching bye now